Sandia Peak, we have mainly clear skies right now and pretty nice setup. Even through tomorrow, we're going to be just fine. And then we get into the action for Sunday and Monday. Nice looking shot here, though. And what you may notice is our days are getting longer now at night. Now we're still shortening up more in the morning, so the days are still getting overall shorter, but we've gone mm. as close as we can get to our short nights, and those are going to start extending here from here on out, but we don't hit our shortest day of the year in total until obviously after the 21st. Now here's what's going on. Winter storm watches in place. Taos County, Colfax County down through the east slopes of the northern mountains and out into <clears throat> Torrance County as well. This is the focus area for the highest snowfall amounts. More on that in just a moment. As far as the storm itself goes, well, it's still up over the British Columbia area and that's going to drop down coming up over the next 48 hours. So here we go. 58 degrees in the metro area. Northwest winds still comfortable. 12 miles an hour temperatures, 40s and 50s to the north. Down to the south, 50s and 60s. Not much in the way of cloud cover, just a little bit from time to time. Tomorrow's going to be another one of those days. Partly cloudy skies, above average temperatures, but still pretty nice. And then we get to the storm. So right now it's off the BC coast, Sunday through Monday. Much colder air for everybody and really across the northeast. We could be talking about dangerous wind chills here. A little bit of snow here in central sections and out to the west. Heavier snow for the northern mountains, northeast, and maybe east mountains. But the bus potential is going to stay at 55% because this storm, while the track is better, it's not perfect. And in addition, I don't think big areas of the state are looking at a ton of snow here. I think it's going to take higher elevations to get that snow. So as the storm closes in on Sunday morning, temperatures will plummet. As the storm slides on in, snow will develop, especially in the mountains and along the east slopes of the northern mountains. So how much snow will we all get out of this deal? Well, if you're up around southwestern Colorado, two to six inches at Durango Mountain, four to eight inches up around Wolf Creek, Chamo one to four, not as much around Los Alamos. Again, light amounts there, Alamosa light amounts. Here's the area to watch for Angel Fire, four to ten, four to eight Eagle Nest, three to eight Red River, Taos Ski Valley, four to eight inches and into the northeast here. Definitely could be looking on the I-25 and I-40 corridors at the possibility of a few inches of snow. Metro, I think it's going to be light, but if you go up in the Sandias and Manzanos, we're going two to five inches of snow there. So it's definitely going to be one of these things we need to watch for pretty closely because this storm, we've got all kinds of maps jumping around here. There we go. And what we're going to see here is that storm as it slides on through the East Mountains could do two to five inches of snow. So that would be a pretty good setup. There, 51, Farmington, 55 in Grants, 52 in Gallup. Again, best chance for snow in the northwest will be Sunday. Be a more of a brief period there, though. 62 in Glenwood, 64 in TRC, 65 Las Cruces. Chance at a quick shower on Sunday. For you guys across the southeast, if we're going to see any snow, it's likely to be early Monday morning and then clearing skies. Meanwhile, northeast, look at the temperatures. 55 tomorrow and then 28 for a high on Sunday. But I tell you what, this time Sunday night, we're going to be around 10 or 15 degrees in the northeast, so it's going to be very, very cold. 40s tomorrow in the northern mountains and then snow Sunday into Monday. East mountains, not bad for tomorrow. Again, a two to four, two to five inches of snow will be possible out of this storm Sunday into Monday and 50s across the metro area for tomorrow. We get much colder Sunday into Monday too. Watch the East Mountains here in the city. If they're really going on Sunday, we're not going to get much snow. But if we can calm the East Mountains down, we could get a dusting or an inch of snow here too. Hey, all right. Thank you, Mark. Sports is next.